Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Julianne and today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. We are going to be decorating outside, we're going to be doing some cleaning, and I am going to be showing you what I got my kids for Christmas, and then I'm going to be doing some wrapping, and we're going to be doing a Q&A. So there is a lot to unpack in this video, but first we're going to be starting outside. Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to today and if you all are ready for Christmas. So I decided not to use the rug underneath my doormat because it made the presents sit a little bit funny. Let me know in the comments if you guys decorate the outside of your homes for Christmas too. We are doing a Mickey and Minnie theme out here, but honestly, I couldn't find much decor. I bought some things earlier in October, but ended up using them inside my home. I went to five different stores last week and pretty much everything was gone, but I'm still really happy with the way that it came out. And we do have a few more areas that we are going to add lights to. So for the cord on the outside, Elvis actually ended up running it through the door and we're using the cord um, on the inside so you can't see it from the outside. I wish I would have got a better shot here, but here's Elvis putting up the lights, which took forever. But they're little Mickey shapes and they're really cute. I just didn't get a really good close up of them. I also purchased these from at home. They were only $10. They were a really good deal. I did end up breaking one of them, which I was really sad, but it still works. Here is how it came out. I think it looks really cute and I'm really happy with how it turned out. We are gonna add lights to around Owen's window and the door and the railing area, but we actually have to go pick up more lights and we just didn't have time before I started to finish this video. But let me know in the comments how you guys think that it turned out. Or if you have any suggestions and I will also have some more clips at the end of the video, so make sure to watch all the way to the end. It is the next day and I'm going to start out with making breakfast before I get to cleaning. I am just making some mini waffles. I picked up this mix from Walmart and honestly it just tastes like brownies, um, not really waffles or pancakes. And they also had another one that I thought was really fun and it was just green pancakes and it came with some red and white sprinkles. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here today. Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to today and if you enjoy this video. I do know it's a little bit different than usual. If you're new, welcome. I'm Julianne. I'm a stay-at-home mom of three and on my channel, you will find tons of cleaning motivation. That is typically what I do on here. I have tons of real messes with realistic cleaning motivation and I also like to add in some holiday decor inspiration. So if you enjoy that type of content, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and if you all enjoy Enjoy today's video make sure to give it a like it really helps out my channel I picked up these paper plates from Walmart. I think they're really cute, but once I finished setting up the table, I have no idea why I put the small plates on top of the big plates, but it did make the table, I guess, look a little bit cuter. And here is how the little mini waffles are coming out. They look really cute. They have the little gingerbread on the inside, and I just picked up this waffle maker from Target. So 
before we get started on the cleaning, I definitely need a cup of coffee. And here I'm just having the Starbucks holiday blend. Now we are going to start out by getting everything picked up in the kitchen. To clean the countertops and the stove, I am just using some of the dish soap and the microfiber cloth towel. I picked up this little candy dish from Target for $3 and I also got some of the Grinch Hershey Kisses. Now that I have the kitchen picked up, I am going to start out by doing the dirty dishes. I did have some dishes that didn't fit into the dishwasher so I'm going to be washing them by hand. First I'm going to start out by rinsing everything out and then I'm just going to be using the Mrs. Meyers dish soap. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys have planned for the holidays? Honestly, we are probably gonna be doing Christmas really simple, just staying at our house, making something very simple. I just really wanna relax on that day. We will be going to California soon and we're gonna be staying for like six days. So I feel like that's really gonna be kind of like our big holiday, like with family and stuff like that. Here I'm just using dish soap once again to clean the sink.
kitchen is clean, I'm going to get the living room picked up. Alright, so now the kitchen and living area is nice and clean and I did want to show you guys that our elf made his way back. I'm going to be making a second cup of coffee before we get into what I got my kids for Christmas and the Q&A. Alright, so before I get started wrapping, I did want to show you guys what I picked up for my kids for Christmas. Camila is two, Owen is four, he's actually about ready to be five. Um, by Christmas he will be five, and Victoria is eight. So we are going to start with Owen first. And I thought that this would be a really cool gift. I used to love playing with the light bright when I was little, so when I saw this I had to get it, and I got it from Target. And then he also loves to play with his um, Nerf. And then these Hot Wheels that are color changing. And 
and then this is for him and Victoria. It is a um, tie-dye kit, and I picked them up each um, some white shirts so they can do that. And then they had this on sale at Walmart on Black Friday, so I picked this up. I thought that he would love it, so. And then this is for older kids, but since we're gonna be helping him with it, I thought it would be something that he would really like. He really enjoys um, activities like this. So it does say that it's for eight plus, but like I said, we're gonna be doing it with him. So I think it'll be okay. And then we have this little dinosaur Play-Doh, which my kids love Play-Doh. It keeps them super busy. I know it's a lot to clean up, but it keeps them really busy for a while. And then this little thing, I don't know, they saw it in like um, the Amazon magazine and they asked for it. I have no idea what it is, but it's cute. So I picked that up too. Um, mostly everything is from Target. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Camila. She did find one of her presents, ended up opening it. So her gifts are a little bit less than the other kids. So I think I am actually gonna pick her up probably like one more gift, but she's only two and Honestly, she'll probably like playing with one, this baby, um, which I picked up from Walmart. And um, water actually comes out of here. You fill it up. And I thought she would really like that. She is super into babies. And I know that this will be the gift that she plays with the most and probably just the boxes and um, some Play-Doh. She loves Play-Doh. And then, I got Victoria some LOL dolls and Camila loves the LOL dolls, but I thought maybe this would be better for her. It's a crybaby. I don't know. I've never um, had one of these before, but I'm sure she'll love it. Um, and she also loves um, Baby Shark and doing the um, Mommy Finger song, so I got those for her. Like I said, mostly everything has to do with baby dolls because she is just super obsessed with baby dolls right now. And I did get her her own little LOL doll because um, I got Victoria one of these and I knew that if Camila saw it that she would want one too. So, and then more stuff for her babies. And we're gonna start potty training. So I thought that this would be perfect as a potty for her baby. So I thought that would be the best way to get her started on that. And then for Victoria, I also picked up one of these LOL dolls. And then, y'all, I don't get the poppets, but she asked for a large poppet. So I got her one of those. And then this is one of those um, bracelet kits I thought would be good. Keep her busy. And then some more LOL dolls. They actually had a really good sale at Target. I got these for really cheap. And then I also picked this up on Black Friday but it's just one of the bigger LL dolls. And then one of those like little squishy things like Owen. And then a Tamagotchi. And y'all, I had one of these when I was a kid too. And I had to pick it up when I saw that they brought these back. And then more LL dolls. She really doesn't play with toys. So that's what I picked up for her. And of course, Santa will bring them a, a different present, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started wrapping because I only have about two hours to wrap all these presents. I did quickly wanna show you guys the wrapping paper and the bows and the some gift bags that I picked up from Target. Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas. So I did remember that I had picked up Camila two other gifts. She's really into My Little Pony right now. And then I also picked her up like a little cleaning set. If y'all have watched some of my cleaning videos, you probably have seen her cleaning along with me. She loves to clean with me or act like she's cleaning. It's so cute.
All right, so now we're gonna start with the Q&A. And the first question I'm really starting with is how did you start making cleaning videos and what editing software do I use? I actually use iMovie, it's really simple and I'm terrible with technology, so I just like to keep it simple. Um, how I got started with cleaning videos. All right, so when I first started YouTube, I didn't necessarily start YouTube with the intention to make cleaning videos. I started out with decorating, but honestly, there's only so much decorating you can do in your home. So I went on to making a cleaning video. And when you're starting out with YouTube, it's really exciting to see some videos get more views than others. And I noticed that the cleaning videos got more views than other videos that I was doing on my channel. So I decided to just go ahead and start making cleaning videos. And once I took a YouTube course and they talked about how you need to niche down, which is like, you know, pick an area and stick with it. I decided that I just would continue to make cleaning videos because honestly, I have to clean my house anyway. So why not? Alright, so for the next question, what are some of your family's holiday traditions and do you have any fun plans for the next weeks that are kid friendly? So for the family traditions, we love to go look at all the Christmas lights. There's a few communities in our city that go all out and they have roads of beautiful lights. We also love to do zoo lights, bake and watch Christmas movies, which I honestly love to sit down and watch a Christmas movie with some hot chocolate or coffee. For the kid friendly plans, we do have a few local farms that we plan on visiting and our community will be having a fun holiday event. We also will be going on a trip very soon and I can't wait to share that with you guys. On to the next question. What made you decide to start making videos and do you find it hard with little ones? So I actually started out with TikTok and then I just was like, oh, these TikToks aren't hard to make. So maybe I'll try doing a YouTube video. And I did tons of research, like a month of research, figuring out how to make a video, how to edit a video, how to like even upload it to YouTube and all of that. And that's kind of how I got started. And I do find it difficult with little ones. One, YouTube is very time consuming. Um, these videos take a, lo a long time to film. If you think about how long it takes you to you know, clean your entire house, it does take a lot of time and then you have to edit on top of it, which I do try to edit like when they're in bed. And Elvis is really good about just taking them out so I can hurry up and film. But even then, sometimes I do end up having to film when they're home. And I do find it difficult, but it is definitely worth it if you can make it happen. So the next question, how are you feeling about this season? Um, were you nervous when you started your YouTube channel and how do you feel about being in front of the camera? And where is my sweater from that I'm wearing right now? The sweater is from Kohl's and I got it on a really good discount. So I highly suggest checking Kohl's out. They had some really good deals going on. Um, how am I feeling about the season? I love Christmas. It is a very stressful time of year, but at the end of the day, it is really exciting and fun and I just love making it magical for my kids and just kind of living through them. So even though I'm a little bit stressed y'all, I am feeling really happy and good about the holidays. And yes, I was so nervous to start a YouTube channel and honestly, every time I upload a video and it goes live, I really do, I still get nervous and yeah, it. I don't think it ever goes away to be honest. Um, how do I feel about being in front of the camera? I hate being in front of the camera. That is why I rarely ever talk in front of the camera. Um, I just feel so awkward. I don't feel comfortable in front of the camera. Even sometimes doing this voiceover, I don't even know what to say. Um, but I do feel like it's more natural now than it was a year and a half ago. But I don't think I'll ever not be nervous. Missing. Next question, will you ever do vlogs like a day in the life and do you plan on having any more kids? 
Um, I don't know if I would ever do a day in the life vlog. Let me know in the comments if that is something that you guys would like to see. I just still feel so shy and awkward in front of the camera. I couldn't imagine like doing a day in the life. Maybe a vlog of like if we were going somewhere or doing something fun, maybe then. Let me know what you guys think. Um, do I plan on having any more kids? As much as I would love to have another little tiny baby, um, I just don't think that it is in the cards for my family. I don't want to say 100% no, never, but we are, you know, maxed out with the three that we have. All right, so on to the next questions. What did you do before YouTube? I was actually a school nurse for about five years. I did do some other nursing, but I found that my passion was school nursing. And if I ever do go back to nursing, I'll be working in the schools. How did you and your husband meet? We actually did meet in nursing school. And what does your husband do? He is a nurse. Um, he's actually working in a clinic right now, but for about the last 10 years, he did bedside care and he also worked in the prison. He worked with death row inmates and and the higher level inmates. Um, how did you end up doing YouTube? Um, kind of like what I said before, I actually started out with TikToks and then I moved on to wanting to make YouTube videos. It was also like, you know, when everybody was out of work and we were all at home and I really just needed kind of an outlet that wasn't being in mommy mode 100% of the time. Will you ever do family vlogs on your channel like when you go to Disney? Um, you know what, I've thought about it. If I I go somewhere fun and I would love to bring you guys along. I don't know, let me know what you guys think if you would like to see that. All right, so on to the next question. What's your favorite holiday to decorate for? Definitely Christmas. I just love Christmas so much and I love to decorate my tree and the whole entire house pretty much. What's your go-to meal to cook when you don't have a lot of time? Um, I would say like pasta or tacos. I feel like those are just really easy and quick meals. Um, what do I do in my free time? Honestly, in my free time, I'm just making YouTube videos. I'm filming or editing, um, but if I really truly have like free time, free time, I love to like sit down and watch Netflix or something like that. Or if it's like, you know, when my kids are up and about, then we're doing like crafts or going outside and playing. We like to go out and play like soccer and do stuff like that as a family, go hiking and things like that. All right, so I have two more questions and the next question is what is your favorite holiday tradition? And I would definitely say going around and just driving and seeing all the Christmas lights. I don't know y'all, that just brings me so much happiness and we actually used to do that when I was a child too. So I feel like that's probably why it just makes me so happy because I get to share that with my kids too. And I always enjoy going out on Christmas Eve and after we've had like our hot chocolate and the kids got to open like one present then we go drive around and we look at the Christmas lights y'all I don't know it's just something that I absolutely love to do
So for the last question, I'm not sure if um, she meant for this to be for the Q&A, but I did want to answer it for you guys. It said, um, she's been sick lately, needed some inspiration to get cleaning. She's having company come over soon and she's got to get some motivation. In this type of situation, what motivates you to move your feet? If y'all have been here for a long time, then you know this is something that I talk about every once in a while on my channel. Sometimes it's really hard for me to get started cleaning. I just kind of get in these moods where everything just becomes a disaster and then it's really hard for me to get started. When that happens, I typically like to start in the easiest place in my home, whether that be a bedroom or the living area or just even cleaning off the dining table and wiping it down. Whatever is going to kind of give me that instant gratification, it's going to be easy to clean and it's going to look good once I'm done. That is what gets me going. I feel like once I do that, then I can move on to another area and then usually I can tackle something big like the kitchen. And once I have the kitchen done, I feel like it's easier to move on and get the whole house done. But y'all let me know in the comments what would be your suggestion that when you're having a hard time getting motivated, what motivates you? While Santa's busy staying ho 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 We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk So we also got a little boy off of the angel tree. He is three and I wanted to show you guys what we picked up for him. We also got him some crayons and a coloring book that we're going to be adding into his presents too. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will link my Christmas clean and decorate videos with me in the description box below along with some cleaning motivation if you guys would like to check them out. Thank you so much for being here today and I will see you in the next one. Bye!